Hey guys, we're back with more Garmy Sherlock. Um, so let's get right into it, I guess. I'm sorry, John. I want to be alone for a while. Oh yeah, this is after we had the fight. I just barely managed to get the words out as I say this to him, and with that, I leave Lucy and Mason. Stifling the emotions that are welling up within me for a long time, I just walk the streets of London. I feel frustration and upset. Frustrated and upset. With no way to get it out of me. By the time I get to Hyde Park, I'm a little closer to being back to my usual self. I just suddenly lost it and blurted out that he was fired, but I wonder if that voids our contract. Will I ever see Sherlock again? Why do I feel so depressed? From the beginning, I never expected us to have any relationship beyond that of Detective and his client. It's not like we signed a formal contract. Even when I hired him, it was nothing more than a verbal agreement. Still, Sherlock was really serious about keeping me safe. Though to him, maybe it was just a job, and that's it. Yet, in spite of that, I ended up with these feelings for him. What's wrong with me? Feeling tears starting to well up, I look up at the sky by a reflex. Sherlock probably feels relieved and happy to be free of a client who won't listen to him. Suki? Hearing someone call my name from behind, I turn around startled. John! What's my problem? I feel relieved to see John has come after me, but why is it that I feel sad that it's not Sherlock. I'm being ridiculous. Sherlock told me to go after you. He wanted me to go in his place because you probably wouldn't want him around right now. Sherlock said that? He's worried about you. He just has a funny way of showing it. He keeps his feelings to himself too much. And the way he phrases things is irritating, but still... Though, to be honest, I plan to come after you regardless of whether Sherlock told me to. Aww, he cares! Aww! I, f rem I still have feelings for him after uh, finishing his story. I finished his story before I started Sherlock's on the channel. So, I finished John's personally, so, you know. John, do you mind if we talked for a bit? Throwing points to a bench nearby. Seeing no reason to object, I nod back to him, and the two of us sit down next to each other on the bench. Guess my favorite food. Huh? It's a quiz. First time I met Sherlock, that's the very first thing that came out of his mouth. Then he followed up with, here's a hint. It's one of your favorite foods as well, John H. Watson. So, what was your answer? What do you think it was? No! We are not having another quiz! Grrr. Sherlock's favorite food? And John likes it too. What could it be? Jaffa Cakes? Is it Jaffa Cakes? It's Jaffa Cakes. It better be Jaffa Cakes. Oh my god. Your favorite food must be Jaffa Cakes! Come to think of it, I remember hearing something about that yesterday morning. My precious Jaffa Cakes, I love you. I'm going to eat every last one of you all by myself. I'm almost sure he had said something like that in his sleep, didn't he? Where it happened to be Jaffa Cakes? That's right, it's Jaffa Cakes. Both he and I love them. Even so, good job figuring that out. I didn't expect you to actually answer correctly. How'd you figure it out? Um, I just kind of did. I can't very well tell him that I woke up by Sherlock in bed next to me and that I heard him talking about it in his sleep. I see. You know, sometimes when I'm talking to you, I almost feel like it's Sherlock I'm talking to. Does he mean that as a compliment? He asked you to try and figure out his favorite food, huh? So that's what your first encounter with him was like then. 
Yeah, it's kind of a long story, but Micah was looking for another tenant to live in 221B, along with Sherlock, who didn't have any friends. So you applied, John? That's right. But you know what Sherlock's like, right? It seems he drove away every single person who came before me. I feel like I can see how that would happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for whatever reason, Sherlock apparently took a liking to me. For better or for worse. Before I actually met Sherlock, Micah told me what he was like, but I figured, what have I got to lose? The first time we met, he correctly guessed my name, background, personality, and favorite things, just like he always does. Then suddenly, he very casually says to me, your room is on the third floor. I can picture the look on Sherlock's face at that moment. That's a really him thing to say. Were you surprised? Yes, of course. But at the same time, I was also surprised to find that I felt fine doing exactly as he said. He's different from everyone else I know. I never met anyone like that. Most people probably think it's really eerie how he can usually just figure out anything and everything. There are actually more people that hate him than there are who like him. But you felt differently? That's right. This might not really be the right way to put it, but I felt a strong attraction to him, to his distinctive aura, to that intellect of his. There was just a certain pull to him that I couldn't resist. I found it hard to believe that a person like that actually existed. Aww. Aww. Yeah, I know the feeling. I thought as much. You're the same as I am in that respect, aren't you? Yeah. Sherlock is different from anyone else I've ever met. He makes such an impression, and I can't help but feel like he's really special, which makes him all the more fascinating. John, I think I just figured out some something out. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I want to be like you, more than just a, some client of his. I want to be to show like what you are to him. I want him to know more about me. Once he does, I want him to approve of me. I thought that we had really opened up to each other. I thought I had become someone special to him. And when he started chewing on cinnamon sticks, I was sort of happy. Because it seemed like I had affected him in some way. And... And... Why am I so interested? Can you answer that, Suki? Perhaps I'll figure out the answer eventually. But I can't help wondering. I want to know more. I want to know now. Since the day I was born, I've never been interested in others. Not even once. Yet I'm interested in you. Why is that? What makes you alone special? I felt like maybe I might be able to become someone really special to him. Sherlock called me his client. It seemed like all of that was just a figment of my imagination. And the fact that I had such high hopes made it hurt all the more when just evaporated, when they just evaporated like that. I was sad and hurt, and I ended up taking it out on Sherlock. Maybe so, but I'm not the one you should be telling that to, Suki. But what I said to him was horrible. I mean, I can't believe that in the heat of the moment, I even told him he was fired. What he said wasn't very nice either. And Sherlock has no intention of, at all, of giving up on your case. You think? Of course. Otherwise, do you think he really would have gone and told me to run after you? Uh, you and I are alike, aren't we? We both feel this irresistible pull to the same person. So when you first showed up, I thought that maybe you would fall in love with Sherlock. Ah, there it is! There it is! Jesus. Fall in love with Sherlock? It may seem odd for me to say this, but I actually thought I was jealous of you for being able to fall in love with him. But it seems I was wrong. 
what? Ron's eyes take an unusually serious look as he fixes, fixes them on me, and suddenly I find that I can't look away. It seems that it's not you that I'm jealous of. I'm jealous of Sherlock for being the object of your attraction. John, what are you trying to say? So this is where you two went. Hey, it's Sherlock! Hello! Hello! Sherlock! I feel my breath catch in my throat as Sherlock suddenly appears before us. Did you hear what we were talking about? I feel like I said some really, really embarrassing things. I can't believe I actually said that I wanted him to approve of me. Still, even if he didn't hear me, this is Sherlock. There's nothing he can't figure out. He'll see through me, won't he? See? It's just like I said. Oh? Oh. He's right. Sherlock came after me, so he doesn't plan on quitting my case. If you're going to badmouth me, do it when I'm not around. You got here faster than I thought you would. And to think we were just starting to really enjoy getting to tear into you, darn. If it's about my school prom, I really did go to it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. Sure, whatever you say. It looks like maybe he didn't hear what John and I were talking about. Good. Being here in Hyde Park reminds me. It was just about this time last year, wasn't it, Sherlock, that you picked up that cat? Oh. You arrived home and came in out of the rain. I was just noticing how dressed you were when you pulled a kitten out from under your jacket. I definitely didn't expect that. And then you insisted that we name her Irene. There was no arguing with you. Oh. John. This is your punishment for the mean things you said to her. Sherlock, suck it up and take your medicine. That was about the time you became absolutely obsessed with watching that program, wasn't it? The Midfall Murders? No, I take that back. I suppose it wasn't the program you were obsessed with, but the actress. This is embarrassing just to listen to. Oh my god, stop talking right this instant or else... Oh god. Or else what? Do you seriously think that's all the dirt I have on you? Lately I've been hearing someone humming inside the bathroom. Could Sherlock Holmes actually be humming a tune? Ugh. And, ah, and now I think about and now that I think about it, the humming started after Suki showed up. You know, I think what I've been hearing might be the music to the midfall murders. Oh my god. You're sleeping on the couch again tonight. Ah, now there we go. You realize that by responding like that, you just confirmed everything I said, don't you? Oh my god, these two. Forgetting about the tension between Sherlock and I, I can't help but crack a smile. But you really are close friends, huh? Just watching you two go after each other like this makes me happy. Just a moment, what part of that last exchange made, me, made you think that we were friends? If I'm going to be close to someone, Suki, I think I'd rather it be you than Sherlock. Don't take him seriously, Suki. He'll, he'll reel you in, and you'll end up sorry. What do you mean, I'll reel her in? Don't say things like that. Suki might get the wrong impression of me. Do you actually think I don't know what your little... I don't know your little tricks. As I listen to Sherlock and John spar like this, the anger I had felt earlier disappears completely, and it's hard to believe I was ever upset at all. The three of us leave High Park, continuing to talk and enjoy each other's company. Later that night, I'm sorry for what happened today. After dinner, Sherlock suddenly broaches the subject of our argument. So surprised for a moment that for a moment I don't know what to say. I can't believe Sherlock is actually apologizing. It seems that on, that on occasion I tend to say things in a way that upsets the person I'm talking to, though I don't realize it when I do it. If what I said hurt you or made you angry, I'd like to apologize. I thought that Sherlock wasn't the kind of person to admit that he made a mistake. In this case, he's not the one at fault. I'd like to apologize too, 
I acted like a child, and I regret that now. Rather than condemning Sherlock, I apologized myself. After I calmed down, I started to think. I was actually sad because I felt like he didn't approve of me. Neither as an actress, nor of who I am as a person. If I didn't approve of you as an actress, do you actually think I would have named the cat I rescued after you? I mean, he has a freaking point. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of the episode, so... Don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications of when I upload. I always premiere, so you'll get a notification about when I uh, upload things 30 minutes before when they come up. But I always upload at 5 p.m. General Mountain Time. So, GMT5. So, always that time. And I always stream at 7 p.m. GMT5. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day, a good week, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.